Time for us to get into Forsberg's four. And Forsberg, what do you have for us to start off this season? So usually we go with a theme, but what I'm doing is all the numbers that sort of dictate how the season has gone so far. Now look, they've been a little up, they've been a little down, 500 record, but it's a chance to reflect on what has made them get to this point. Mm -hmm. And I want to start with a guy who's been really good lately, Dennis Schroeder. Do or die, baby. <laughs> I am wanted to see, what is his numbers when he has that yellow streak in his hair versus the plain no die look? I love it. And he's averaging about 6.3 points more per game when he doesn't have the die in his hair. Now, his turnover numbers go up a little bit, his assists are down, but I think we've seen at the end of games he's been phenomenal was great at the end of that second Cleveland game the other night, willed them to victories, had a couple big nights. So I don't know, Amina, mm. can, he, can he go back to the die when he's been playing this well? And here's the other thing, his defensive rating with the, without the die, 93.9. Like wow. he's, the Celtics are playing great defense with regular hair, you Dennis know what? Schroeder. The fact that you're able to find those numbers and hard. decipher, you know, what Dennis Schroeder is like on the court with the die and without the die, I feel like that is epic as well. All right, let's start with these numbers right here. Taking a look at what the Celtics look like before that Marcus Smart meeting and after that Marcus Smart <laughs> meeting. You take a look at these numbers right here, Forsberg. What story Ooh. does this tell? So first off, I was told this was an unproductive meeting, mm. that, that maybe it didn't help, but no, look at those numbers. Obviously the record is the thing that jumps out the most, having a good Florida trip going five and two, but look at that defensive rating, 96.0. Look, was it the meeting that changed everything? Probably not. There's some, some help with just getting more familiarity, kind of learning Ime Yudoka's schemes and building off of that, but you can't tell me that it didn't help to have the meeting and sort of say, like, how are we gonna move forward? Let's get an identity. Yeah, those numbers brought to you by the Massachusetts Health Connector. Get your health insurance today at mahealthconnector.org. Well, you take a look at those numbers right there, and it definitely says that Marcus Smart, that meeting that he had with his teammates, mm -hmm. I would say it helped just, just a little bit, Forsberg. Just a little bit. They gotta continue to bit. build off it. They gotta continue to be great defensively, make that their identity, and then we'll see. But I, I have a good feeling that just being challenged by Marcus Smart played a big part in how good they've been since then. All right, so what's the next order of business in Forsberg's four here? Well, so, I mean, Peyton Pritchard hasn't quite been himself to this point, mass PP. Mm -hmm. So I looked up the numbers, and here it is. In the 11 and a half games, because he peeled it off at halftime the other night, he's seven of 30 shooting, five of 19 from three-point range, and minus 11 in 108 minutes. I had high expectations for Peyton Pritchard this right. year. And what, I don't know if it's a sophomore slump. I don't know if having to wear that mask has altered his field of vision. He needs to figure out how to be a more impactful player. The Celtics bench is begging for production and it's begging for guys that are, can shoot. So Peyton needs to figure it out. Put up 92 points in a program game and it's gone sideways ever since. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the mask. He's got to figure out how to get back to the PP we saw last year. Hopefully post Peyton Pritchard mask, is the better Peyton Pritchard that we see this season. And Marcus Smart making an impact so far this season as well. What do you have on him? So here's the thing. And the Marcus Smart haters are going to be in shambles when they see oh these boy. numbers. But for everyone who's sitting there going, oh, Marcus Smart needs to be traded. He's, you know, takes too many shots. He does this, he does that. Well, look at the numbers. The Celtics through 14 games. Marcus Smart has a plus 19.5 on-off differential for net rating. That is the best on the Celtics team. The Celtics are... 12.9 points per 100 possessions better offensively with him on the court versus off it. Now, Amina, I keep getting told mm -hmm. that Marcus Smart takes too many shots, he's not a good passer, and yet the offense is so much better when he's out there and he makes highlight reel passes like that to Al Horford. So basically, no Marcus Smart slander is tolerated anymore. We do not, uh, we do not slander Marcus Smart in this house. No more.